the Voyager 1 space probe, which has been traveling through space for more than 40 years, has made an important announcement. It was anticipated that it would only last five years, but it has exceeded all expectations throughout its trajectory, beyond its initial mission. Now, Voyager 1 has detected the presence of 300 unknown objects passing through space. This discovery has completely changed our understanding, as these objects have been found to be plasmas from giant star explosions that occurred millions of years ago. Join us on this journey through the cosmos to find out what these objects, discovered by Voyager 1, are all about. Unlike previous years, when we were only able to analyze data within our solar system, thanks to the innovation provided by Voyager, we now have access to data beyond it. By crossing the heliopause in August 2012, Voyager 1 demonstrated the solar system's boundaries for the first time. However, this milestone was not easy to achieve. As the probe moved farther and farther away from the sun, the amount of sunlight available to power its instruments and systems significantly decreased. The three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which determined the heat produced by the natural breakdown of plutonium-238 into electricity, serve as the primary source of power for the spacecraft. Because the thermoelectric generators have produced less heat over time, the operation of several onboard systems, including scientific instruments, data transmission, and communications, has been affected by the reduced power supply. Non-essential systems and instruments have been disabled or put into a dormant state to save energy. As power continues to decline, it will be necessary to optimize or shut down Voyager 1's critical systems to prolong its operational life. In its current state, it will not operate for much longer. Even in its current state, though, it is still very valuable to us. However, the great distance between Voyager 1 and Earth presents a significant challenge to maintaining effective communication. As the spacecraft ventures into interstellar space, Voyager 1's signal strength has weakened. It takes more than 21 hours for signals to travel from Voyager to Earth. The weak signal, combined with interference from background noise, makes it difficult to transmit and receive data. In addition, Voyager 1 is subjected to distinct thermal conditions during the temperature transition from the heliosphere to interstellar space. The spacecraft experienced higher temperatures as it moved closer to the sun in the heliosphere, whereas, when entering interstellar space, it faces extremely low temperatures. The Voyager 1 probe is equipped with dust detectors specifically, designed to measure the density of interstellar dust in deep space. However, communication with Voyager 1 has become more difficult due to limited resources. It is anticipated that the mission signals will need to be received by NASA's global antenna system. This has resulted in less frequent communication opportunities than there used to be. Despite this, a fascinating discovery recently emerged. In the midst of the data stream, Voyager 1 detected an intriguing anomaly, the presence of 300 unknown objects passing through interstellar space. This discovery has perplexed scientists around the world as it challenges our understanding of the cosmos. Is it the existence of previously unknown phenomena? Or are these objects the relics of ancient celestial bodies drifting by? Relics of distant star systems? Although the information transmitted by Voyager can usually be easily deciphered when information is sent, in this case, the data were encrypted which raises many questions, but few answers. Strangest of all, however, is that despite the peculiar nature of the data, Voyager 1 appeared to be functioning smoothly. Its communication link with Earth remained intact, and the signal remained strong, allowing valuable information to reach NASA without much trouble. Interestingly, none of the ship's protection systems were activated, indicating that there was no immediate threat. This rules out a possible attack. So, what could be causing the telemetry data to appear scrambled or inaccurate? Could it be the result of interference from cosmic phenomena, such as radiation or high-energy particles? Or is it possible that we are dealing with a completely unknown phenomenon that defies our understanding of space? 
the only way to obtain certainty was to conduct a meticulous analysis of a wide range of possibilities. The NASA research team thoroughly analyzed the systems, taking into account the impact of cosmic radiation on the electronics and the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting their sensitive instruments. There was a possibility that something was happening just before Voyager entered the heliosphere and that natural changes in its path would create problems in data transmission. However, Voyager 1 was not exactly in the area where these natural changes were concentrated enough to cause those problems, so that did not appear to be the answer. The team also looked into the complexity of Voyager 1's communication systems, looking for distortions brought on by interference from cosmic noise or even small shifts in the spacecraft's trajectory. The search for answers led to a meticulous analysis of all these potential factors. The spacecraft systems were examined by considering the impact of cosmic radiation on electronic components and the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting its sensitive instruments. However, while it might sound like a simple task of checking boxes on a list, in reality, there was a lot of work to be done. As a result, this investigation did not begin immediately, but took weeks to complete. The team advanced data processing techniques, developed innovative algorithms, and ran simulations of various scenarios to identify the root cause of the unusual anomalies. At the time, this was the only way to discover what was causing the problems. And all that effort was not in vain. Scientists and engineers were finally able to bring the information from the farthest reaches of interstellar space back to clarity and reliability after months of receiving encrypted data from the spacecraft. Voyager 1's Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, specifically an onboard computer that was supposed to be inactive, was found to be the root of the issue. Surprisingly, it was discovered that the AACS had begun using the computer despite it not being operational for years, leading to corruption of the transmitted data. However, the rest of the spacecraft remained operational and continued to collect data. To discover the source of the problem, engineers acted quickly and sent a command to Voyager 1, instructing the AACS system to shift to the correct computer to transmit the telemetry data. Although the solution was low risk, it required a great deal of patience because of the significant delay caused by the distance between Earth and Voyager 1. Radio signals take nearly 22 hours to travel back and forth. So, the troubleshooting process required careful coordination. However, there was only one problem to consider. Voyager 1 had been built decades ago and had been performing excellently up to that point. Therefore, Finding a solution to current problems would be a major challenge. It was necessary for them to review several manuals from the 1970s. And that is exactly what they did. They were able to restore the system that was responsible for data transmission, which was a straightforward solution to the issue after careful examination. They were able to resolve the issue without affecting any other ship components in this manner. The experience and dedication of the engineering team played a crucial role in restoring clarity to Voyager 1's communications. Their efforts underscored the importance of leveraging past knowledge and combining it with current technology to meet the challenges of space exploration. Engineers suspect the deviation in the use of the non-operational computer on Voyager 1 was triggered by a faulty... A command was received from another onboard system. This hypothesis suggests an underlying problem in the spacecraft's intricate computer network. Mission managers remain cautiously optimistic and emphasize that this incident does not pose a threat to the long-term well-being of Voyager 1. The spacecraft corrected the error and continued with its mission right after the correct computers came back online. Thank you very much for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. The implications of Voyager 1's most recent findings are profound as it continues its journey through the vast, unexplored regions of interstellar space. The detection of 300 unknown objects, likely plasmas from ancient stellar explosions, has sparked a wave of scientific inquiry.
raising questions about what else might be drifting in the quiet darkness beyond our solar system. These plasmas, remnants of supernovae, offer a unique glimpse into the cosmic past. By studying their composition and behavior, scientists can learn more about how elements are distributed throughout the galaxy, how stars die, and how the raw materials for new star systems are formed. It serves as a reminder that Voyager 1 is not just a relic of a bygone era. It's a tool that continues to reshape our understanding of the universe in the present. Despite its age, Voyager 1 is still one of humanity's most technologically advanced spacecraft. Its instruments, though outdated by today's standards, continue to function thanks to careful energy management and the unwavering dedication of mission, control. Each new transmission it sends is a small miracle, a whisper from the edge of the known, traveling billions of kilometers to reach us. What makes this mission even more extraordinary is the enduring legacy it carries. Onboard Voyager 1 is the famous Golden Record, a time capsule containing sounds and images from Earth intended to communicate the story of our world to any extraterrestrial life that might one day find it. It includes greetings in 55 languages, music ranging from Beethoven to Chuck Berry, and sounds of nature, from a baby crying to the roar of the ocean. This symbolic gesture, dreamed up by a team led by Carl Sagan, reminds us that Voyager 1 is more than just a machine. It's a messenger, a testament to human curiosity, creativity, and our desire to connect with the cosmos, even if just to say we were here. Looking ahead, mission scientists are preparing for the eventual end of Voyager 1's journey. Its slowly fading power supply is anticipated to last for only a few more years. By 2030, most of its instruments will be shut down, and the final signal may cease shortly after. Yet, even when it goes silent, Voyager 1 will continue to drift silently and steadily into the unknown. It will become a human ghost ship, carrying our message across the stars, possibly for millions of years, long after Earth has changed beyond recognition and the lights of our civilization may have gone out. In the grand scope of space and time, Voyager 1 is but a grain of sand on a vast shore. And yet, it carries with it the hopes, dreams, and questions of an entire species. So, what lies ahead? Could future space missions go even farther with more advanced technology to follow in Voyager's path? Will we ever send rudimentary spacecraft beyond the solar system? Or perhaps will something or someone eventually find our little golden disk drifting through the dark? For the time being, Voyager 1 pushes the limits of what is possible. And as we wait, we listen, we wonder, we dream.